Um, so, um, is there one of these that you like look up the most? Should we um, start with maybe uh, this one? Yeah, you're the stylist. So <laughs> yeah, I like it. Cool. Um, I like your necklaces as well. And we'll roll these up a bit. We haven't seen yeah. this yet, so we... Nice. Nice work. Nice, nice, nice dye work. We had a lot of fun doing it, actually. <laughs> up in Zimbabwe so that's kind of where I started performing as well kind of open night open nights with with friends uh, in Harare um, there's this place called the book cafe which was sort of where we all hung out and where they had like live music and um, it's quite legendary actually because it was sort of very sort of politically active as well in that time and uh, well music I think in general is sort of it can be an escape but it can also just you know reflect sort of the world around you and the things that are going on. I think that um, that was very much happening at that time, of course, as well. It was an outlet for people, but uh, also a really good way to sort of, you know, voice your opinions and critique. Um, but I mean, for, for me, I mean, I was like 17, 18 at the time. So for me, it was mainly just sort of trying out new songs. It wasn't very heavy handed or anything like that. But um, I think we were aware sort of on the periphery of what we were doing that you know, bigger things were at play for sure. I mean, I think after I left Zimbabwe to go and study, I kind of left music for a while or I just wasn't very involved or active with it. And I, I just I wanted to study and just do that for a while and study literature, I think, also with a view to sort of having that maybe be useful to my songwriting at, at a later stage. Sort of towards the end of my degree that I kind of realized either I can keep on studying or get a different kind of career or it's going to be music and then I need to make some decisions and then after having multiple arguments with my parents about, <laughs> about deciding to go for music I was like no that's what I'm going to do. Um, I had a really good friend of mine who uh, actually gave me some money to record like an EP, a few songs in a studio, um, which really sort of kickstarted everything. In a very, and it wasn't it wasn't an amazing studio, and it wasn't a hell of a lot of money, but it was enough to kind of make it more serious and also feel supported by someone else, and that helps you also take it more seriously. Um, so I recorded a few songs, and somehow that got picked up by um, sort of an agent in in. Uh, Holland and Amsterdam and I moved there and sort of got more attention through them and uh, was able to get a, a deal to make an album which I did <laughs> and then uh, uh, after the album I sort of did a lot of sort of gigging and festivals and touring and stuff like that uh, in, in Holland and in Europe and then sort of recently a few years ago decided that I kind of needed to move and have a fresh sort of perspective and try new things and my, my sound was shifting and just a lot of things were happening sort of artistically for me as well um, so I was like let's go to London <laughs> inspiring me to, to, to write new stuff and it kind of everything just kind of came together um, and then since being here um, and then now signed to a new label and um, yeah I've been working for the past uh, two years or so on my new album which is coming out next year and been releasing singles this year and yeah that's kind of that's the trajectory I think that's it <laughs>